back in the zone and back with our Kevin McCarthy. Kevin! Yeah. What's going Kevin, on, Joe Kevin. and Maureen? Hey, uh, good to ooh. see you guys. How you been, man? I'm good. I'm good. How was your weekend? It was, it was good. How about you? Uh, busy, busy. Daddy, husband, daddy, okay. husband, daddy, husband. Don't remind me good, too, things. if anybody wants to know. Maureen, right. yours was good as well. No, it's okay, you know. Oh, you know we're okay. <laughs> now you and I. Well, we started with somber, remember? We started with... It was okay, Joe. Okay. We talked about the football game. Yeah. The fact that, okay, it was a win is a win, whatever. <laughs> Let's get to what we're talking about. I don't want to take from your time, Kevin. No, no worries at all. So, uh, so uh, there's a great comedian coming to the D.C. area next week. His name is Ben Schwartz, okay. and he's uh, he's very yeah. good. What I love about Ben Schwartz is he does an improv show. If you're not familiar with Ben Schwartz, he's probably most known for voicing Sonic in the Sonic oh, films, okay, yeah. but also Parks and Recreations. He was a huge character on that show as well. There's Ben right there. Uh, so he has a show at the Anthem uh, next week on September 21st, and I was able to direct message Ben and see if he could come on for a quick interview to talk nice. about the upcoming show. Also, he's a member of the uh, the WGA and SAG, so the Writers ah. Guild of America and SAG. So right now, I can't interview actors uh, about right. projects that they're doing, but I can talk to Ben because he's doing a comedy show that is not okay. involving struck work, which is like work that he had done prior right. with acting. So I spoke to him all about the show coming here to the D.C. area on September 21st, but also what's it like to be out on the picket lines right now as a member of the WGA and the SAG as well. Take a look. You know, obviously, you and I have spoken multiple times before, um, but every time we've spoken, it's been for a project, essentially, uh, uh, that and that now you cannot speak about during the strike. But uh, if people go to your Instagram, you, you've posted photos of you on the picket lines. What's your viewpoint on where we are right now? Um, what are the what are the picket lines been like? Um, like being out there with your fellow actors, because uh, the photos you posted, it's just nice to see everybody kind of coming together. The picket lines have been kind of inspiring for a bunch of different reasons, like. Um, I've been out there a bunch of times, been out there for both day ones for each of those, for WGA and SAG, and um, I've, I've been a member of WGA for, I think, 13 years or something like that, and SAG for even longer, and um, listen, it's the idea of what we're doing is important, the idea of what's happening. I think one of the ways that I was explained to it, uh, it, it was explained to me was that it's like when we went from networks to cable and then this whole other thing existed and then we had to, our contracts had to catch up with what was happening. And now I feel like it's very similar in that we've hit streaming and it kind of just happened. And now we're catching up and trying to figure this all out. Like there are no residuals in streaming or the residuals you get for both writing and acting are so limited or not real. It's like oftentimes a buyout and that was the quick fix in order to bring this content. And now it's like, okay, now we have to figure it out. We have to find ways to make sure the people that are doing the work are getting rewarded for their work in a fair way. Um, so it's, it's kind of a remarkable time. And also AI is so unique. It's so unique. And it's coming on the heels of streaming being so unique. Everybody watching stuff on their phones and their iPads is so recent, you know what I mean? So picket lines for, for me, inspiring because so many people are out there. By the way, everybody feels like they got your back. You're walking around, everybody's saying hello. Everybody's like fighting for the same thing. Last time I saw you on stage was the Warner Theater. Uh, it was a couple years ago. It was a phenomenal show. The DC audience obviously had a great reaction to you at the Warner Theater. You come back to DC, play the anthem, but you've done this all over the country um, and different parts of the, the world. So I, I just wonder for you what the DC audience gives you. I've done DC maybe three or four times now, this will be the third or fourth time, at least, at least. And each venue kind of gets a little bit bigger and stuff like that, same with New York, it's like, and um, you do it because the audience gives you that reaction, that feeling and understands it, and really connects with your shows and it draws you to come back. Like when you have a great audience and you have a great time and we visit all the monuments and like, you know, it's mini vacations for us. We have maybe, we have maybe 24 hours in each city that we go to, um, you know, and a lot of that is sound check and show and all that stuff, but it's like, um, I love DC, it's close to where I live in New York, so I can pop by and say, but like, the feeling of those audiences is amazing. You guys understand comedy, um, the show's geared towards what the audience, you know, we interview someone in the audience, whatever they say is kind of what the show revolves around. So whether it's politics, because we're in DC, or whether the show is so specific to that exact city, because we're talking to somebody from that city in order to make the show. Um, but the reaction, it's always the reaction, and I just love, I just really have always loved DC. I always feel like I'm in something historical and important and even like these like I go to the White House every time just because you know how many times in my life have I got maybe four but still it's like I mean we're not even cool enough to get the tour we're just going outside the gate and waiting and waving 
All right, that's Ben Schwartz. Uh, I was thankful uh, to Ben for doing that interview. I just DM'd him. So he will be at the Anthem in D.C. on September 21st. If you're not familiar with him, you probably know him most as the voice of Sonic in the most recent Sonic films, but also from the show called Parks and Recreation.